loves, I am back with another quick reading. This is for the TikTok Collective. This reading is timeless, so when I get this message is when it's supposed to come to you. May this message get to the people that it needs to get to. This is a general reading, so I am asking your higher self to only take what is yours and leave what is not. Thank you for trusting me to give you these messages. I'm going to go ahead and ground the energy as well. You want me to use the light seers tarot? What is the message that TikTok Collective needs to hear presently? What is the message that TikTok Collective needs to hear presently? So you have justice. So I might be talking to a Libra or somebody that has a Libra in their chart, doesn't have to be, but this is talking about finding the balance within. You could have been struggling lately, either mentally, emotionally, or spiritually with the Five of Swords. It's about something that has been bothering your spirit. You might have had um, your temples have, have been in pain, and that is... Normally, it could be your crown chakra cleansing and your third eye. With the chariot here, that is a major arcana. It's also about balancing both the masculine and feminine energies within you. So being able to balance between your intuition and your logic. But the chariot is also talking about a victory. With the seven of cups, they're just seem like you have to make a choice here or you're gonna choose what is the best thing for your path with the chariot what is the struggle regarding what is the struggle regarding what is the struggle regarding oh some of you might have been in this like overthinking phase or like you're coming out of a really like negative thought cycle with the sun here it's about happiness and finding the beautiful things in life having i know it's not always easy to see like the positive things in certain situations but it seems like when you learn how to balance your logic and your intuition your mind and your heart your masculine and feminine energies when you are open to receiving as much as you give that's when all of this is going to start happening for you. Some of you have been like coming, like you, this feels like you guys are coming out of a very long cycle of growth. Could have been you learned a lot of lessons. I heard around family. But the ton of wands is when like you're basically putting down the burdens that are not when you realize they are no longer your responsibility you are putting down the baggage that has been weighing you down for some of you guys have been receiving a lot of judgment from family it's kind of like they would kept trying to limit you or not let like they would judge you or question your motives or why you would do certain things but with the Six of Wands and the Chariot here, it's like sometimes you get this type of judgment or hate from the people closest to you. One, because they have a certain idea of you, so they do not know what to do with this version of your soul that has gone through all this growth with the Ton of Wands, right? They don't know what to do with the version of you that is now you. But with the Six of Wands, is about you being in the spotlight or you being recognized for all of your hard work here as well. Some of you could actually have some sort of like musical talent or you're supposed to, like your destiny, your fate is to shine your light 
and share your wisdom or your gift with others. With the Seven of Cups here, it feels like you might have been confused at some point and that's maybe what was causing this your temples to be hurting as well or this blocking your crown chakra. The sun is also um, source energy. So yeah, this is about a decision. It's like choosing to no longer um, listen to your ego with the devil here. You see how the devil has like this person like see how he's holding like the sides of his head almost like in pain it's like learning how to how to call out your ego how to face your ego how to heal your ego through love um and choosing to not listen to your self-limiting beliefs anymore this feels like you're ready to take on the world and whatever comes with it with this globe here that's what i'm feeling with this energy with justice there's a lot of like balance of duality here or like starting to see life through your higher perspective of not good not bad but like what's the lesson here you know what am i learning from this can you clarify the seven of cups there seems to be a lot of happiness and victory coming towards you you have been manifesting this for a long time every time you chose to live authentically you have been manifesting this some of you could be gemini or have gemini in your chart with the magician here but you have learned to turn like that negative into positive you have become like the alchemist that you guys need to become in your journey it feels like you guys are pushing through that like old cycle to that new cycle here but it also feels like your ego keeps trying to bring you back to this like who are you who do you think you are mentality so when that pops up in your head do not let it limit your journey i heard you need to start thinking bigger and be open you see how she has her arms open you need to be open through your heart chakra open up your heart chakra to the blessings that the universe infinite creator god source energy however you refer to that higher power has for you that some of your ancestors may may have helped you manifest this through their guidance in your journey they're showing me an owl so an owl might be important to you guys where you have some sort of an image of an owl i'm seeing it on a desk You guys have been through a lot of struggle here with the five of wands in conflict. It's like you really fought to get to this frequency of being able to live authentically. So please do not let your ego suck you back into that questioning of self or the judgments of others keep you limited. They want you to open up to this new cycle, open up to this new journey that you are you are going to be blessed with with the sun and the chariot here and justice there's divine justice at play here and i see beautiful beautiful things that you have worked very hard to manifest but please stay open to it you've done the work you've done a lot of the work like now it's time to open up to it and understand that you are worthy of it okay okay loves i'm gonna leave it there peace